Hey there, Phil Ebener here from videoschoolonline.com. That's not me, that's my buddy Sam. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create a split screen and also create it as a template in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a question I've actually gotten a lot from students in my Premiere Pro class and my other classes from people who are trying to create their own tutorials or educational content. So let's get straight into it. So you'd wanna set up your project however you normally do. This is my photography masterclass 2.0 class that I'm editing and I just am using it as an example. But first you probably have just video that fills the entire frame and what we're going to do is create a split screen with it. And now I'm going to be doing this with the latest version of Premiere Pro, which what I'm using is, let's actually see what I'm using. I am using 12.0.1 build 69. So this is um, actually Premiere Pro CC 2018. So if you're using a previous version, you might not have the essential graphics panel, but you should if you upgrade, which I recommend, go up to window, Make sure that the essential graphics panel is on there and we're going to create something from scratch. So just click the edit tab. This is how we create titles now. Click the new layer and first we want to add a rectangle that is going to be the split part of the screen. So it creates this red triangle and we can actually just click this, we can drag it, we can resize it however we want. However big you want, you just kind of click and drag and then click to undo it. So if you want a small split screen, if you want a big split screen, it really depends on your video. We're just gonna do something in the middle. If you wanna see, make something that's exactly split down the middle, turn on your title overlay, which is this one right here, this button right here, safe margins. And you can see that there's a line right in the middle of your screen. See how there's these boxes and then there's this little line, it's hard to see, but there's one right there that shows the middle of the screen. So you can just make it right there. So now is actually a good time you could start adding your text or you can move your video to the side. And this is pretty basic. If you click on the video layer itself, go to your effects controls. Again, if you don't see that, just go to window, effects controls, and you have your motion options up here. And for position, we're just going to drag it to the right. So this first position, it allows you to move things from left to right. So I can just click and drag this from left to right and drag it to the right to where I think it should go, right there. Now let's get back to our graphic. So you notice that if I click this, you see some of our shape and graphic options in the effects controls window. I don't want that. I wanna go back to our essential graphics panel, which has more options. So we can change the color of the fill. So say we want it to be black, just click the color of the fill. Let's just make it a black or maybe just like a dark gray or something might look nice. Next, we need to add our text. So we click the new layer button, text. And it's going to create a new text layer that is a basic text layer that has a sort of standard font and size. You can just double click into there or click on the text tool or the type tool down here, which is in your toolbar, which should be on the left of your timeline or it might be on the right or on the top, wherever that usually is for you. And then we are just going to type in our text, whatever we want. We can say how to create a split screen. And you can adjust all these settings. So you can either go with the selection tool and make it smaller or bigger, or you can adjust the size under the text panel with these text options. You can change the font, you could change the paragraph settings. I'm not gonna go through all that because that is something that you can do yourself and isn't really a part of this tutorial, so I don't wanna waste people's time. But the only thing I will say is that, let me add a couple more text bullet points. So say we add another one, we can actually just duplicate this one. Okay, autosave is gonna autosave and then we have to wait and then we can duplicate this one by right clicking, duplicating, and then just dragging it down. Or you can use this position and align transform tools to drag it down so it's perfectly aligned if I move it down. And then I'm just going to, you see what I did there? I didn't tell you that was a little bit tricky. So I had this and I pressed the T button on my keyboard, with the, which is the keyboard shortcut for the text tool. And then I click in here, which is easier just to select my type. And I'll put this 0.1, okay? 
So say you want to create some sort of transition where it goes from adding point 0.1 to having a point 0.2. You're actually going to need to create a separate graphic layer. So here's one. I can split this just by using my razor blade tool. C on my keyboard, split it by cutting it right there. Go back to V, which is my move tool, my regular tool. And now these are two separate graphic layers. So to add another point, I can just duplicate point number one, move it down, and we're gonna just change it to point two. Now there's a hard cut from here. Let me turn off this audio. Nope, not voice record. Turn off the audio, mute that. So it's just a hard cut from point one to point two. You can add a transition. If you select both, right click and apply default transition or just select them or select the point in the middle and press Command D to add that cross dissolve. So that adds that. So that's pretty much how you create a split screen. Now I'm gonna show you how you create a template. So what I would do is actually first, let me just delete this first one and I'm going to add a point three and I'll move it down. And you'll, you'll wanna change the sizing and the fonts and everything you to make it look how you want. Maybe we want the how to create a split screen up here to be bold or italics or all capitals or something like that, which actually that's awesome. I didn't realize that Premiere Pro has the all capitals option here now, which is was missing when this first came out. You could add images. So say someone was asking if how they can create one with like a little check mark. Well, you would have to create the check mark in something like Photoshop or download something from online and then just add it as an image. You can create, click the new item button and then choose from file. And this is how you can add any sort of image. So it's going to open that. Let me add my logo, which is actually a good example. Let's go to my logo. This is something you might want to put in your template. Let's get the white one. There we go. We import that. Okay, so now with my move tool, I'm going to move this down to the bottom of this split screen. So that could be anything. That could be a check part point or any sort of image that you want. All right, so now I want to create this thing, make this a template that I can reuse over and over. To do that in Premiere Pro, right click the layer down here in your, in your timeline and then choose export as motion graphics template. We're gonna save this and just leave it in the essential graphics folder, which is a folder within your Premiere Pro sort of or original files. We'll call this split screen one. Or maybe we'll, you know, if you make multiple, you'll say split screen three points. And you might have multiple ones with one point, two point, three point, which would make it pretty easy to use in the future then click OK. OK, so now let's say you're editing your video. Here's another clip that you want. Whoops, let me actually make sure that this is not edited like that. So this is another video clip. It really is the same, but I'm just making that up. It's a different one. And you're like, OK, this this point, I want to add a split screen. So let's just go to the essential graphics panel. Now, if you go under browse, you'll notice that you'll have this split screen template. And you can see that I have all kinds of other templates that I've created, including some split screen ones. Just drag this on top of your video track onto track number two. It's going to load it from the motion graphics folder that you saved it to, and here it is. Now, all you have to do is click your video layer, go to effects controls, move it to the side. Depending on how you film, if you're filming the same setup every time, it would be good just to memorize the position. So the position for this one might be 1330 or whatever it is. And so every time you add the split screen, you are going to have to go into the video clip beneath it and adjust the motion of it. You won't be able to have that a part of the template, but the graphic itself is the template. So now we can go in here, we can change these to point four, four, five, six. And then an easy way to sort of create that transition from point one to point two to point three is just to split this into three clips. I'm just going to split there, split there with my text tool. This first one is just going to have point number four there. 
So let's go to the essential graphics panel, click 0.5, delete it, click 0.6, delete it. Now with the second one, we're going to delete just 0.4 right there. Whoops, no, what am I doing? I'm gonna delete 0.6. So for the first one, it's 0.4, this one has 0.4 and 5, and now this one has 0.5 and 6. And let's add a transition. So I'm selecting all of these and just pressing Command D to add the cross dissolve for all of the layers or all of the cuts. I'll delete this first one after it saves. And now you can play through this. And it goes from 0.4 to 0.5 to 0.6 and so on and so forth. And you can customize this however you would like. So that's how you create a split screen in Premiere Pro. Of course, you can adjust this. Say you want the graphic to be on the right side. You can actually move this entire graphic by going to the effects controls and adjusting the graphic to the right side. And then our video underneath we'd go to and move to the left side. So you can move an entire graphic around too. But you can see that it even brought in our logo to this graphic as part of the template. Cool, if you have any questions about Premiere Pro or creating videos or photography or design, I hopefully can answer them and maybe I'll create a tutorial. So if you're interested in learning Premiere Pro completely from scratch, I do have a full Premiere Pro class that I will link to with an amazing discount below in the description of this video. Otherwise, check out videoschoolonline.com and make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel for free tutorials, guides, reviews, and all kinds of tips to help you become a better creator. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in another video. Have a beautiful day.